Hi, hi, I'm Princess Jordiana, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're continuing Haunting Ground. We're now here. We trapped. This looks like a map of sorts. We got the tower sketch. We got a memo, which we'll read in a moment. But first, we're gonna get out of here. Go, Huey. Huey. Here, I think there's a hidden item in here. Go, Huey. Good boy. All right, so we will read all that stuff after we save again. We've obtained a bronze figurine. So apparently there are some items in this game for some reason that don't do anything. Maybe they were originally intended to and developers just scrapped it last minute or something. Okay, so we'll actually read this now. So let's see. They will kill Huey if they find him. He's gotta do something. Maybe I can distract Ricardo somehow and keep Huey safe. What happened? The last thing I remember was passing out in the forest. Did that freak Ricardo do something to me while I was asleep? What is this gown that I'm wearing? Somebody tell me what happened. And we got, I think, this. Fiona, are you well? Let me tell you about the location you are currently in. This place is known as the Water Tower. That curse of Ricardo has confined you in this tower. It disheartens me to say that there are no exits left in the water tower. However, all is not lost for there is a way to create an exit. Somewhere in the basement there lies an item known as the Magisterium. After you obtain it, use it at the top floor of the tower. That will open a path that connects the water tower with the House of Truth where I reside. Also, avoid Ricardo at all costs. He is, for lack of a better word, dangerous. Oh, if only I weren't cursed with this useless fossil of a body, I would run to your aid. Also, fate hasn't given me that chance. I pray for your safety, Fiona. Oh, okay. and she left me another thing, apparently. Magisterium? More nonsensical words. I have no idea what this does either. But knowing how things have been going, I'll probably need this for something. So I better check around. Now this thing is the ne the final machine where we can put a bunch of stuff in. I think this is one of the things we can do. Yeah, we got something there. So yeah, if you don't... Well, you can't use these plates anyway, but if you remember them, you can do it here. Okay, so we can't do this. Let's just open these now. Alright, so apparently, if you decide not to use this to your gameplay, you can do this. And we get the really good one. The fresh flowers? I guess unless you have like a mod or something for it, you're never getting them here. And that thing we just got, I am pretty sure is bad for Huey. That's good for Huey. Philosopher earring. So what I'm guessing, the white godstone might get you the alchemy ones, and this gets you this one. Okay, can't use this, but let's read it. 
A small bronze statue of a man. I have no clue as to where it should be used. Right, so let me just show you. Does this tell me? Okay, we don't know what that does. Um, I think that was... This, this is good. Okay, so this is the Philosopher Earrings. Earrings made by processing an extremely rare substance known as Philosopher's Stone. The speed at which you calm from a state of panic increases as does mental stability. This may possibly be better than a Diamond Joker. I should wear both together. Work wonders. We may switch to that later, but for now we'll keep the fairy earrings. And as cute as this outfit is, we're probably going to go back into the original. Good boy. Once we get through this area. Oh, Huey. I wish they would have put a save point here. If they ever do remake this, they should put a save right here. Fiona! The formula is working, then. It works directly on the eyes. You can't see me, can you? You are mine. I own you. You are mine. I own you. <laughs> Poor Fiona, we are not nailed this crap. Who kicked his butt? Again. Oh gosh, he's like right there. I was gonna say, he gonna hit me. <laughs> she just stopped. I think I hit him. We ran in a circle so he goes away. That's right, don't be scared, buddy. I don't wanna go this way yet. Oh, that was lucky. He could have killed us, I think. Oh gosh. Now we're leaving. Oh, why won't he go away? Oh, that's right. Maybe he'll go away, though. Is he still here, Huey? If he is, he's gonna kick my butt. Okay, phew, he's finally gone. Alright, let's see if we can hurry up and get the rest of the stuff. There's nothing there. I think there might just be one or two more things over here. Then we'll get ready to save. I was gonna say, I thought there were three things to kick. Watch out, Huey. essential and the silver disc is nothing right, let's change back for now into the original All right, I don't promise to actually make anything but we'll just we'll, we'll see I'm very bad at this, clearly.
got the Jade Choker. That's cool. Alright, let's see what all that is. Okay, so I made a ton of that S1. What is the S1? Completely reduces panic. What's this? Oh, I'm pretty sure that's bad. Because it's red. Red usually equals bad. Okay, so here's a jade choker. A choker colored jade green like a tropical ocean reduces the speed at which stamina is lost and increases recovery speed. Also increases chance to avoid enemy power attacks. That's also nice. Actually, you know what? We're going to put it on because we don't even have a necklace yet. Alright, let's try to hurry up and save. You. I wonder if this water is safe to drink. Guess I'll never know if I don't try. It is such a relief to get a chance to save. Anyway, in this whole entire game, Daniela has my absolute favorite area. She is my absolute favorite stalker and everything. <laughs> you hear him? This is my least favorite area of the entire game. I don't like this at all. I just feel it's very slow. I don't know, my TV is very hard to see. Chewy, please. Chewy, please. I can't see him. Oh, crap. Hey, don't you be hitting my dog, bro. Although, that's kind of distracting him, I guess. I don't worry, am I gonna regret this? I'm gonna regret this. But yeah, anyway, as I was saying, I just think this area is very slow. It is clearly very linear. Good boy. Come on. And I think it could be so improved on if they ever remade it. check something. I don't think I have the thing I'm thinking about. No. This, um, not the next floor, but the one right above this, you will see why. I think it's called the Obsidian Choker or something. It helps with the blue things. It keeps them at bay. Why it would be so nice when we do end up having it. Well, no. Chickens, I hear Don't worry, you, you're gonna be getting some treats. <laughs> no. No. I did not mean to go here. Please, I 
tempo. I'm coming, buddy. What is? No, not that one. That's bad. We know that's bad. That's good. That's bad. What's this deal? Here. Hear how he's panting like that? That's really bad because you can lose Huey. I hope it's a thing that really helps with his stamina. I might even need to take one from my... why this next part is going to kind of suck a little bit. That wasn't too bad. We pretty much made it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's bad. That's bad too. Jeez, this looks really bad. What is that, just death? Alright. We're okay if we get up this side. If they ever let me run. I can't see. Come on, Fiona, we got the thing on. No. Fiona would... I mean, Fiona would. I just could not see. For some reason, that area is really dark. I'm just gonna get us back to this point. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> Run. <laughs> okay, as you probably saw, come on. The best strategy for Good that boy. was to get the little blue thingies to kind of go around on one side. Ricardo ruins it. Now, this puzzle is so annoying only because of Huey. You will see. Go. In fact, I might have to do this the opposite way. Dang. See, this is what he'll do, and I don't know why he does it. He leaves the thing, and it's so frustrating. to try to go to the next one. He'll just run away. I think it's this one next. Let me try this again. This might be a few moments. Just because for some reason, Huey does not stop when you tell him to stop. See? Go. I don't know why he does that. Why do you do that? Go. 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 Dang. Hurry, Fiona, hurry, hurry. On down these days. Go. Stop. What? He was on it. Go. 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 Go.
That was so close. That's another thing. Please, developers, if you remake this, please make him stay when you say to stop and stay. say good boy. But I love you. There's not an item here, is there? Oh. I'm not turning invisible anymore. I don't really need it, so I put the um philosopher earrings on. Alright, so be preemptive here. Just watch out for Huey, because he likes to walk in front of you. So what I like to do is even though I know okay, so this is not a spot I believe you can use, but it just makes me feel better to kick the things out. This might be I don't think this is either, but again, just be safe. Because if you don't kick them now, you're going to have to kick them later, and it's going to be more annoying. Okay. So since we didn't look at it, this is the silver disc. Something resembling a star tar has been etched into the face of the board. I have no clue as to where it should be used. A small model in the shape of a bridge. I have no clue as to where it should be used. I do. Why do you run? Let me into your womb. Ew. Crows. Huey. Weirdo. Come on, Huey. Hurry up. Huey. Get in there. Cut it. Alright, so you see him, Argo boy? Gotta get this. Gotta get Ricardo on here. I couldn't do anything. Go! Huey, what are you doing? Huey! 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 No. What? Why does that even matter? What are you doing, doggy? It's okay, we got this. We got this still. It's okay. Huey! We got this. We got this. We got this. I have to keep telling myself that. Chewy, go. There we go. I guess you have to have him in a certain spot.
Huey. Wait, let's see what that thing says first. I guess I had it in this way. Come on, Fiona. It's not like you weren't used to this by now. Time to get moving. I have to get out of here. Good boy. Thanks, Huey. Huey. Okay, so as soon as we go through this door, we're going to see another scene, and I'll talk about it in just a second. That's just nasty. I think that scene, by the way, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think your very first playthrough where you have absolutely no data whatsoever, you do not see that scene the first time. I think you do not see that scene until after your first playthrough, so by second playthrough you should get it. Again, I could be wrong, I just really don't remember it the first time around. Anyway, let's actually get out of this area. Come on. Huey. Come on, buddy. One nice thing about going back down is that lever that we pressed, like the second one, I don't believe there's any reason to pull it again. That one right there that's above our head. I don't think you have to re-pull that. And the only one that you have to re-pull is the one I'm about to get to. And yes, make sure Huey's with you or else he will be abandoned. Stand a fall like that. No one. This skin. It's so dry and leathery. This body. There's something that just doesn't feel right. Huey. What's wrong, buddy?
All right. This is where we're going to call it quits for now. So this has been Princess Jordiana. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of Haunting Ground, as usual, stay tuned. Bye-bye.